It's Friday on the beat, and you know what that means. But today we have a special takeover edition of Fallback Friday with Method Man from the Wu Tang Clan. Yes, Method Man is here with me, the Grammy Award winning rapper from Staten Island who exploded on the scene with Wu-Tang Clan. They've sold over 40 million albums worldwide, and he's got hit songs with Mary J. Blige and Red Man and recurring roles and hit HBO shows you know, like The Wire, Oz, and The Deuce. Yes, sir. Method Man, thanks for coming on the beat. Thanks for having me, man. You know, I've been um, getting hit up a lot, you know, about this guy that's on MSNBC that just, you know, knows all the lyrics to mostly all the 90s hip-hop songs. Kudos to you, bro. Hey, thank you, man. That means a lot. I grew up uh, on your music. And thank you. uh, we think about everything you said. I want to get to your fallback. Yes. But starting with your music, yes. uh, it's not just hip-hop, but rock and roll. Yeah. A lot of genres that talk about having fun and sometimes getting high. Here yeah. we're rapping about that. Yeah. So you see that there. Why is marijuana pot so important to the music and the culture, do you? Well, I think it opens up a whole new creative door. Honestly, you know, it elevates you a little bit past where you are already. Um, I think some of the most creative people in our business smoke pot, whether in the closet or outside the closet. I won't say any names, but, you know, my, my influences uh, weren't necessarily pot smokers, but it does help. So who's on your list? Who needs to fall back? Police need to fall back with telling people to tell, you know, the whole stop snitching thing that they tell us that's wrong. But when the blue shield comes up, that thing comes up, aren't they doing the same thing? Yeah, we saw in Chicago, officers didn't want to testify in the shooting of Laquan McDonald. Right. The video showed a police officer shot him. That would seem to be what you're saying, a exactly. reverse no snitching. Reverse no snitching. My fallback is uh, former Republican Speaker John Boehner. Okay. When he was in Congress, he was supporting a real crackdown on drugs. Uh, and we know from the data, a black Americans three times more likely to be arrested for pot when, when the rates show they use at the same level as white Americans. Uh, he is now taking money from the pot lobby to lobby yeah. for pot. Oh, oh uh, what, what hypocrisy. Oh my God, what a hypocrite. Um, you know what? He wasn't he the uh, sp- House Speaker before, yep. before Paul Ryan? Um, I, I think he needs to go get tanned a little bit more. No, I'm not going to insult the guy. <laughs> You know what, people see that, um, I'm guessing people are coming around to the ills of marijuana, they're coming around to see that it's, they were, it was misjudged, in a sense, the, the, the actual plan. And we overdid it in the war on drugs. We overdid it in the war on drugs. To be classified the same as heroin and cocaine is ludicrous in my, in my mind, so that needs to fall back. And what needs to fall back is the court of public opinion as far as social media. Wiz Khalifa, who loves his son, by the way, adores his son. I, I damn near love the kid myself because he, he has such a great personality. Um, he went to school, and Wiz let him take the public school bus. People lost their minds. Excuse me. First of all, mind your business. Second of all, that's his son, and he can raise his son any way he wants to. People think the kid's too rich to ride the bus? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking now. Why is your day? They, they basically question why is Wiz Khalifa's son taking uh, a public school bus. I have a quote I wanted to use for that uh, public opinion. It's from uh, Walter Lippmann. The private citizen beset by partisan appeals for the loan of his public opinion will soon see perhaps that these appeals are not in compliment to his intelligence but an imposition on his good nature and an insult to his sense of evidence. That's basically what I feel like needs to fall back. You know, people need to Mind their business more, there's an old saying my mom used to say, if you don't have nothing nice to say, I'll let you finish it. <laughs> don't say nothing at all. Yeah, there you uh, go. I have another fallback that's woo-related. Okay. Uh, I want Martin Shkreli to fall back <laughs> for using his money to get himself involved in the woo. Uh, he, of course, bought what was advertised by some right. uh, as this unique, one-of-a-kind uh, woo album. Yeah. What do you think about that? At first, I was, I didn't, I knew who Screlly was, and when he bought it, I was like, of all the people that could have bought that album. But after a while, it seemed more WWE-ish. And then Screlly with the whole uh, him and Ghostface going back and forth, it definitely had to be WWE. Before I let you go, I want to, I just want to talk a little music with you. For people who love rap, Wu-Tang Clan changed the game. Yes. Did you know when you were starting out that it was going to be that embraced and that revolutionary? No, not at all. No, I, I just, 
for me, I always dealt with things on such a small scale. For me, even when I write to this day, it's not to impress the masses, it's to, it's to impress my small circle. If they approve, then I know I did it right. You guys were so interested in Asian culture and Kung Fu movies. Where did that come from? Um, Saturday matinee. For us, our childhood, the majority of us were those Kung Fu flicks. I'm telling you, at 3 o'clock Saturday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the streets were clear. At least my streets were, because everybody was watching that Saturday matinee. Fatal flying guillotine, five deadly venoms, so many. And as you get older, you start to incorporate some of these philosophies, some of these way, this this way of life that they live, the loyalty, the brotherhood, never backing down, that that bravado. You know what I mean? And it all worked for hip hop because these are some of the same traits that are in our music. For people to just see the facade and not what's behind it, that's the reason why a lot of us are in the places we are right now. So. And me as an artist, I want to keep that facade up. I don't want people to get that close to me. I want that mystery mm -hmm. so they'll always come back for more. I feel like this was a very sophisticated explanation of the line, you don't know me and you don't you know, know my style. style. Oh, I love that. See, you always throw one in there, brother. Thank Ari. you very much, Method Man. You're one of ours, brother. Please, please Thank believe you. it. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was fun.